Hello everyone, this is Aaron Burton with Unconventional Oil & Gas Training. Thank you for joining me today. In today's module, we'll be looking at using diverters with plug and perf to help with fluid distribution. Before we get started, I do want to remind you about the website, uogtraining.com. On the website, you can catch up on previous blog posts that you may have missed, and you can also sign up for email communications if you'd like to, an email every time a new video is released. Also, if you're not familiar with plug and perf, cluster perforating, or limited entry perforating, I do recommend you go into the website and uh, reviewing these two modules before continuing on with this diverter module. Now in the cluster perforating module we looked at fluid distribution through multiple clusters and some of the challenges they present. We also looked at uh, techniques that we can control on the mechanical end to help uh, get even fluid distribution like limited entry. But even if we use these types of practices it still doesn't change the fact that these reservoirs are not homogeneous, which means that there's going to be uh, rock that's stronger and rock that's weaker. And ultimately, the formation is going to dictate how the frack grows and where the fluid will be distributed. So your frack job may end up looking something a little bit more like this, just because of the different strengths and the different weaknesses of the rock. Now, if you look uh, through investor reports, you'll see a lot of operators are going with more and more clusters uh, per stage. In this example here we have three and the more clusters you add per stage the more uh, complicated it can be. So uh, let's take six clusters for example. Uh, the, the more clusters you add the more likely you are to have a frack job that looks something a little bit more like this where you have uh, one or two clusters, a couple of clusters taking a large majority of the frack fluid and uh, the rest of the clusters getting very little. <coughs> and that's where diverters come into play. Now we're going to use a very simplistic example here, um, just uh, assuming that the, the frack is growing through one cluster alone uh, to make it a little bit simpler, but overall it gives you the point of what operators are doing when they're using diverters. Um, I believe that most people would agree that diverters really are more, uh, as much of an art as they are a science right now, that we have to make a lot of assumptions with them, things like this. So once again, this is a, a very simplistic example. So just assuming that, um, that we're fracturing and that, most of our, that all of our fluid is going into one perforation, uh, what we do is we pump a diverter. Pump the diverter in the well bore. It goes near well bore and it actually blocks the fluid from entering that perforation that's taking all the fluid. So that forces the fluid to divert and go out of another set of perforations. And that's, that's diversion. Now I do want to clarify too that uh, this, what we're referring to specifically right now is near well bore diverger, uh, diversion. So all of your diversion is actually occurring very near your casing and near your well bore. Uh, there's also another technique of diversion called far field diversion and that's going to be out uh, deeper into your frack and it's a little bit different techniques and a little bit different uh, objectives and uh, we'll, we'll talk more about far field diversion in later modules but for this module we are focusing on near well bore diversion so once you've um, placed your frack stage that uh, corresponds to this second cluster then you pump another set of diverters that blocks off the near well bore of that cluster and then it forces the fluid to divert into another cluster. And then you just repeat that process, pumping another diverter down, forcing that fluid into another cluster and until you're finished fracturing that stage. Now once you're finished fracturing, these uh, diverters are made of a degradable material so they will uh, dissolve and then you can produce through those perforations. You regain your access to your formation. So that's it for today's module. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you are enjoying the videos, like I said, please sign up for the emails so that you'll be first to know whenever a new one is released. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at any of the ways below here, uh, either through email, and I'm also very active on LinkedIn as well. Thank you. Have a good day.